The modern battlefield is ever evolving, yet some of the most effective military assets from previous decades remain irreplaceable. Among these is the Boeing F-15 Eagle, a fighter jet that has Air Force with unparalleled distinction. While the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II represent the forefront of stealth and technology, the F-15E Strike Eagle stands as the workhorse of the fleet. Its combination of capability, durability, and versatility ensures it still plays a vital role in contemporary air operations. This comprehensive analysis explores why it's time to reconsider retiring the F-15ES and advocate for their continued service and enhancement, reinforcing their significance in national security. Introduced in the early 1970s, the F-15 Eagle quickly established itself as a premier air superiority fighter. The F-15E Strike Eagle, an advanced variant, was developed to enhance its multi-role capabilities. Entering service in 1989, the F-15E has seen extensive action, from Operation Desert Storm to recent interventions in the Middle East. The F-15E Strike Eagle is a twin-engine, all-weather, multi-role fighter capable of carrying out both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. It can reach speeds of over Mach 2. 5 and has a combat range of approximately 1,200 miles without refueling. With a maximum takeoff weight of 81,000 pounds, it can carry a wide array of munitions, including AIM 120A MRAAMs, AIM 9 Sidewinders, and various precision guided bombs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Your support means the world to us. During Operation Desert Storm, the F-15E demonstrated its prowess, performing deep strikes against high-value targets and providing close air support. Its versatility was on full display again in more recent conflicts, where it has been pivotal in operations across Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. Despite the advent of newer stealth fighters like the F-22 and F-35, the F-15E continues to be a critical asset. Its ability to carry more munitions over greater distances than its counterparts makes it indispensable for various missions. For instance, during the recent escalation of hostilities involving Iran and Israel, F-15ES were deployed from Qatar, showcasing their strategic value. These jets flew extensive sorties, with some launching up to 10 air-to-air -air missiles in defense operations. The Air Force has been actively upgrading the F-15E fleet. New radars, electronic warfare suites, and enhanced engines have significantly boosted their operational capabilities. The current upgrades include the integration of the IN-APG-82, V-1 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar, which provides superior tracking and targeting capabilities. Additionally, the implementation of the EPOS, Eagle Passive Slash Active Warning and Survivability System, offers enhanced electronic warfare and countermeasure abilities, crucial for survival in contested environments. Despite their proven utility, the Air Force plans to retire 115 of its 218 F-15ES over the next five years, citing cost-saving measures. This decision has sparked considerable debate. The projected savings of $600 million annually could be reallocated to purchasing around 40 new F-35S. However, critics argue that this move contradicts the Air Force's mandate to maintain a fleet of at least 1,900 fighters, especially when facing increasing geopolitical tensions. Recognizing the strategic importance of the F-15E, the U.S. House Armed Services Committee is considering legislation to prevent the retirement of these jets until the Air Force can provide a detailed justification. This delay would potentially safeguard the F-15ES for at least two more years, allowing further evaluation of their role and possible replacements. The F-15X, an advanced derivative of the F-15E, features numerous enhancements, including advanced avionics, improved survivability, and a higher payload capacity. Initially, the Air Force planned to procure 144 F-15Xs, but budget constraints have reduced this number to 98. 
This limited acquisition raises concerns about meeting future operational demands, particularly with the aging fleet of F-16S and the gradual retirement of A-10 attack jets. Maintaining and potentially expanding the F-15E fleet aligns with national security interests. The proposed upgrades and possible procurement of additional F-15Xs could ensure that the U.S. maintains air superiority. Moreover, the development of the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program, aimed at producing a sixth-generation fighter, is still years away from fruition. Therefore, the F-15E remains a critical stopgap measure. The Air Force's budget constraints necessitate careful allocation of resources. The projected savings from retiring the F-15ES must be weighed against the cost of maintaining air superiority. The potential $3.5 billion required to upgrade 32 older F-22S to combat readiness could be a more prudent investment compared to divesting from the reliable F-15E fleet. The F-15E Strike Eagle has earned its place as one of the most formidable and versatile fighters in the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. Its continued relevance on the modern battlefield underscores the need to reassess plans for its retirement. By maintaining and upgrading the F-15E fleet, while gradually integrating newer platforms like the F-15X and NGAD, the Air Force can ensure a robust and balanced fighter capability. In an era of evolving threats and technological advancements, the F-15E's proven performance and adaptability make it indispensable for maintaining global air superiority. It's time to bring back the world's greatest fighter jet and secure its place in the future of aerial warfare.